All right, welcome to today's class. We're going to be reviewing Unit 1. Okay, on the Unit 1 review, the first thing I want you to know, what's the difference between a primary and a secondary source? What is a primary source? Exactly, all right. You were there at the event. It doesn't matter what it was. It could have been a diary or it could be some money or a map or a statue. If you were there at the event, that's a primary source. Then people will take the primary sources and write books or extrapolate upon them and you will get a secondary source. Does that make sense? All right, let's find out real quick. Um, I've got this giant book on the Civil War. Primary or secondary source? Okay. Good job. Secondary source. I've got this money. It was from the Civil War. Primary source. Exactly. Okay, good job. Also, from Unit 1, we are going to have some colonies. People are searching for freedom. In general, it's economic or religious freedom. You got the pilgrims, they want religious freedom. You've got people in Jamestown and whatnot, they want farmland. They come over here for economic and religious freedom and then out of that comes political freedom. So people come over, establish um, colonies for freedom. Now, what do these colonies do? This is the third thing I want you to know. They're gonna provide raw materials back to England. Does this make sense? Okay. And so enjoy your Jeopardy. Play it. See how much you can remember. Uh, please don't skip the Jeopardy. Play that and spend 10 minutes reviewing this stuff. That way it gets stuck in your brain. Uh, you will see this on a test in the future, whether that's in high school or college. And so take 10 minutes, play some Jeopardy, call a friend, challenge them, something like that, and have fun. And we'll see you back here with tomorrow's review.